welcome to lakshman biology from this video we will discuss about multiple alleles multiple alleles also not follow the mendel rules or this is also an example for deviation of mendel rules deviation from the mendel rules actually according to the mendel one allele one gene contain two alleles but sometime what happen the gene contain more than two alleles gene contain more than two alleles if a gene contain more than two alleles that is called as multiple alleles multiple alleles see if you see the mendel according to mendel plant height is controlled by two alleles capital t small t seed shape is controlled by two alleles that is a capital r small r but if you see the multiple allelism which contain more than one allele if you see the multiple alleles multiple alleles are also present on same locus of homologous chromosomes hence there is no crossing over in the multiple allelism there are different examples for the multiple allelism first one is a seed coat in rabbit see the sorry coat color in rabbit or body color in rabbit in which you can see four alleles second one is abo blood groups abo blood groups abo blood groups also formed because of multiple allelism there you can see three alleles for the single gene apart from that we can see starch starch synthesis in pea plant this is also an example for multiple allelism examples one by one we will see separately first we will see about seed coat color in rabbit if you observe the rabbit the seed coat color is the gene which will maintain the seed coat color contain four alleles which contain four alleles example if the gene is c which contain four alleles what are the four alleles that we have to see the four alleles which are responsible for the the maintenance of coat color which belongs to single gene but number of alleles are four capital c one allele then small c ch this is one allele then small c small h that is one allele then small c it is one allele four alleles are there capital c one allele ch one allele cch is one allele ch is one allele only c small c it is one allele if you observe the from down to top if you move first one small c is recessive allele recessive allele if you observe the ch this is the dominant dominant over the small c dominant for which dominant for the small c but it is recessive for the capital c and ch dominant dominant for only downward then if you see the ch it is dominant for both c and ch these two this is the recessive this is the recessive for the cch it is dominant for these two alleles then if you see the capital c it is dominant for all alleles all another alleles once again if you observe small c is recessive capital ch is dominant dominant over the small c then small c ch is dominant over the ch this is the recessive and here it is dominant dominant for only one allele dominant for only one allele that is c it is dominant for two alleles c and ch finally capital c is dominant over all on the three alleles three alleles are recessive for the capital c okay now we will see the genotypes if the rabbit contain two recessive alleles small c small c two recessive alleles then the rabbit is becoming to white color albino albino white 
pure white total body is become into white that is called as albino rabbit albino rabbit is due to small c small c next in case if the genotype is ch cch means it is dominant over the small c both homozygous dominant homozygous homozygous genotype are in the heterozygous genotype if ch if ch is there in the genotype it is uh, dominant over the small c that leads to formation of himalayan rabbit if you observe the himalayan rabbit the body is white the body is white but if you see legs uh, tip of legs uh, tip of ears become into black that is because of dominant allele c h that is called himalayan it is uh, second phenotype because of the different genotype next in case if the genotype contain one cch allele one or two cch allele cch is always dominant dominant over the ch and c when the cch is present in the genotype which will not express the functioning of ch is suppressed and the functioning of c also suppressed hence these two cannot express its character cch only express its character here you can see the development of chinchilla type rabbit chinchilla type rabbit means which contain silver gray color silver silver gray color rabbit next if there is a capital c capital c at least one capital c or two capital c's are there the capital c is dominant over all the three alleles hence remaining three alleles suppress its character because of that we can see the formation of brown color rat brown color rabbit that is about the different colors albino himalayan chinchillian and full color that is the example for multiple allelism here the different colors of the rabbit is because of presence of more than one allele in the one gene hence it is one example for multiple allelism in next video we will see about abo blood groups